When I was trying to find the yummy recipes that would get Amber to eat cauliflower, the thought of popcorn cauliflower didn't even cross my mind. Nope, this isn't a joke. It's actually a super simple recipe that we're going to teach you step by step how to cook. And then I'm going to feed my little monster live on camera so you can see just how easy it is to feed your little one a healthy alternative. To me, cauliflower always seemed like a really boring vegetable. The only way I'd ever really seen it being used before was as cauliflower cheese. Love you, mum! But to be honest, that's not something I normally cook. But there are so many really cool recipes that use cauliflower at the moment, which I find really exciting. Partly because I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to food, and partly because it's so freaking good for your growing tots. It's full of vitamin C, K, fiber, and choline, not to mention all the antioxidants. And it's generally a really good all-rounder when it comes to making sure your little one is eating a well-balanced diet. And the reason we're cooking it in this style, apart from the fact that it's so tasty, is because McDonald's and all those other fast food places have done a really good job of convincing children everywhere that popcorn chicken is a culinary must. So today, we're using that to our advantage, but twisting it up a little. If you're feeling inspired by this super simple recipe, and you'd like to learn more tips and advice on how to get your little human eating a healthier diet, I'm running a five day bake them healthy challenge. Just head over to fusseat.com forward slash bake them healthy or click on the link to sign up for free. Okay, let's keep going. So the first thing you need to do is cut up your cauliflower. All you're going to do is cut up the florets into bite sized popcorn chunks. Remember, by the time you add the batter, it'll be a little bit bigger. Next, in a bowl, mix together 95 grams of flour, 240 mils of buttermilk, two tablespoons of hot sauce, and one teaspoon of salt. On a side note, we use extremely mild sauce because Amber's not a big fan of spicy. We mainly just add it for flavor, but you use whatever spice level your child will be happy with. On a separate plate, empty out 200 grams of breadcrumbs. Now I'm using ground up rolled oats and almonds, but shop bought breadcrumbs are absolutely fine. And all you have to do is dump the cauliflower into the batter, then roll them in the breadcrumbs until they're evenly coated. Now heat up about a centimetre and a half of oil in a pan and cook your cauliflower in batches. It generally takes about two to three minutes to cook. You want it to be golden and crispy. But keep an eye on them and you'll have to turn them, so be extremely careful. And this is obviously not a part of the cooking process that can be done by your toddler. Once they're cooked, serve them up however you'd normally have your popcorn chicken. If you'd normally have them with ketchup and fries, do it. Gonna be nice, gonna be nice, gonna be nice. The point of this dish isn't necessarily to be super healthy, although it will be more healthy than the ultra processed meat that goes into the regular version of this dish. One of the most important things you can start doing today is to get your child involved in the cooking process, just like I did with Amber. Now, believe it or not, it can take up to 16 exposures of a new food for your child to build preferences for that food. Now, the good news is it doesn't have to be 16 times of them eating that food. You can use games, activities, and of course, cooking activities to gain those exposures. Now, it's time for the all important Amber taste test. Drum roll, please. Go, Amber. Drrr. You can't choose? Shall I choose one? What about this yummy looking one? Does that look good? What do you think? Yum! Yay! Success! So that's us for today. If you've enjoyed our video and you found it useful, like our page. And we'll see you next time. I can't wait!